Hi guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 461. My name is Ajay Pramar and today I am bringing one of the very exciting topic in front of you which is VLOOKUP in the reverse direction. How to make the VLOOKUP work in the reverse direction. Now if you if you know VLOOKUP very well then you know that it always works left to right you know and it never works in the reverse direction. But in this particular video I'm going to show you that we, you can also make the VLOOKUP in the reverse direction right and you know many of times we uh, we we uh, to overcome this left to right challenge we use the index function but if you know this function you may not have to use the you know if you know this trick I would say that the combination of the VLOOKUP and the choose function you may not have to you know worry about uh, using the uh, in index function right so this is my channel youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar if you are watching the channel for the first time 461 videos are on Excel Excel VBA access and access VBA when you go to my channel these are all the playlists which you can see click on the playlist and on the playlist this is on the left side you know all these different 45 categories will be displayed and every playlist has you know number of videos for example if you want to be an expert in the outlook part you can click on the extra VBA connecting outlook from Excel and you can see look at this guys we have 41 videos I have got 41 videos for you on the outlook part only it's it only talks about the outlook right so there are a lot of subscribers who have you know uh, sent out the emails to me in the past talking about you know all this so I always upload the videos uh, as and when I think that this is going to benefit you and to watch these playlists this is the category these are all the categories I have mentioned here right because I know that you also face uh, difficulty in in watching you know in deciding which, which video is supposed to watch first and which playlist so when you click on this all these playlists go first of all by the sequence and uh, when you when you follow the sequence what you need to do is you need to watch the videos you know in the in the 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 format you know it is given there in the sequence it is given there you don't have to uh, go and put the videos randomly all the videos are actually in the you know I have aligned the videos in the very systematic approach and if you find any difficulty or you think that there is something wrong uh, the playlist is not up to the mark uh, it has not the proper order let me know about it and I'll immediately correct it for you right so now let's talk about the VLOOKUP which I was talking about so in the VLOOKUP now you see that this is the table I have created for you right so this is the table in this table now I have the employee ID this is the table 1 and this is the table 2 which is your own table now this is the primary table now just to demonstrate uh, just to make you understand obviously I have created a very you know small database but database can be bigger it doesn't matter I want you to you know understand the logic and this is going to be very interesting right and as I said we are going to use the choose function with this VLOOKUP now the first thing for those who does not have any knowledge about the VLOOKUP what they can do is they can go to my this playlist in the Excel Excel VLOOKUP and match and please go and watch the VLOOKUP videos if you are just a beginner not a problem right if you know the VLOOKUP if you know the limitation of the VLOOKUP which I am right now telling you then you can watch this video now what happens so if I just have to because this is my employee ID as you can see now in this employee ID this is actually the employee ID you know which is actually in the uh, uh, you know in the E column and the and the status which we want to find that's actually in the opposite that's that's before the employee ID right now so far we have learned that if you have ever data you know which is not to the right side of the lookup value which is this employee ID then you, there are two ways one you can just copy this data and you can put it here and then you can start your VLOOKUP you know from here from this table to this table that is the first option and the other option is obviously you're going to use the index function well I personally prefer the index function because I really don't want to copy and paste the data if you have 10,000 rows in your data then unnecessarily you're going to paste the you know those 10,000 uh, cells again so which I don't personally like you know uh, to go for and I rather uh, would prefer to work on the index function but today what we are going to do is I'm going to work the VLOOKUP with the choose function now first of all let me explain you what is the choose function okay because to understand the choose fun uh, you know uh, this VLOOKUP and the choose function you should be first thoroughly uh, you know understand the choose function now guys uh, suppose if I write here one for example 
Now, what is choose actually? So, when you write the choose, you know, this is how it works. It says that choose a value, choose a value or action to perform a list of values based on an index number. Remember, based on the index number, this is important. Based on the index number means what? Based on the index number means that whatever the index you're going to give, right, basis that it is going to actually decide what value it has to give. So index number is going to be, let's say I select the A1 and then the comma, the value 1, value 2, value 3. So if in the A1, the value is 1, then it has to select, let's say I say January and then February. Now you see that what, what happens in the choose function, you don't have to write you know uh, one two three four five you know like in the if condition we write that if this is going to be one then do this if this is going to be two then do this so this is also a good option you can use now here i'm just going to write jan feb and march and they are all going to come in the value one value two value three parameters and remember my index number this is going to be my you know this a1 cell so what happens when i press enter so when you press enter so basically this one is going to you know because we have written the one here so you know that in the choose function this comes in the first index right so immediately if my user goes here and write two what happens this is going to be february and the same way this is going to be if i just write here it is going to be three so basically what is happening basis this value you can change your this you know whatever you want to print here right now with the same concept we're going to use the choose as an array. Array means when you're going to press control shift enter. So what we are going to do here is, now suppose I create here three tables, okay? Let's say I create a Jan, Feb, March, and here let's say I create something else. Uh, let's say I write here A and then B and then C, and here I write some number, maybe 200 and 300, right? Now see this, I'm going to say that choose and I start the bracket now when you start the bracket you remember that I you know in the previous choose I just you know wrote there one but this time what I want to do is I want to form the table which is going to give me the F column values G column values and H column values so there is a way there is a specific way to write that right now this doesn't come automatically in your mind it is all about spreading the knowledge I learned from somewhere I'm just giving this download to you right but if you ask me you know i do not know let's say this technique and if you ask me that ajay can you do sort of this stuff i don't think so i will be even you know able to think on that way so that's how guys the knowledge comes uh, you know knowledge space and you have to make other people you know uh, aware about these things so how you going to write here because i want to create three columns right f g and h so what i'm going to do i'm going to start it with the curly bracket i'm going to write here one and then two and then three and i'm going to just close that now this special technique we use mostly in the arrays now when you press comma you have the value one you can see that this is bold so here i'm just going to select this table and then the second i'm going to select this table and then the third point i'm going to select this third table now if i close this bracket because i just want these three tables and for these three tables i have written here one two three now when i press enter you see that you get the error why because you cannot have all these columns in one single cell but if you use this function as an array which means if you're just going to use control shift enter let me press the control shift enter and look at this guys i'm not getting here the error right so i press control shift enter first of all you make a note of it right this is whenever you press the control shift enter the formula works like an array if you don't have any idea about the arrays watch one of the my favorite and the best playlist excel rs most powerful in excel go and watch all these i think 12 or 15 videos and you will love it right they look very complex they look very you know difficult to understand but you know it's try try again and once you actually get a hang of it trust me guys you can do wonderful things in excel without vba right so now let me come back to this thing now you must be wanting i have here jan obviously i go here and i press f9 now when i press f9 the formula is going to expand and the formula is going to expand it's going to show me all the 
you know the table column if you look at this table carefully you see that jan comma a comma 100 which means jan comma a comma 100 and then afterwards there is a semicolon and then we have the fib and then we have the b and then the 200 and then there's semicolon so basically guys this is going to act as my table number one this is going to act as my you know table number two and this is going to act as my table number three right so this is the concept I'm going to use in the VLOOKUP right so let's come back to the VLOOKUP now the first thing which I'm going to do is I use the VLOOKUP here what I want to look up obviously I want to look up this employee ID 100 I press comma when I press comma I'm going to use here choose function and now what you need you need the status so how many columns basically you need now tell me one thing guys just forget about the choose function if you just have to select the you know if you just want to get the status and just imagine for a second that the status is on the right side of the employee ID how many columns would you have required I think only two columns so one is the employee ID and the second you know would happen the status right so that's why what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it with the curly brackets and I'm just going to write here the index number one and two because I only need the two columns and just put the curly bracket and then start you know writing the ranges what is the value number one the value number one is the table itself because if you use this table e4 to e8 this is where your lookup i4 is going to look up that employee id but once it looks up that employee id what it needs so you again press comma and in the value 2 you're going to actually select this table because you need the status right now you are done with this you close the bracket once you close the bracket now in this table if you remember in the previous when i was talking about the choose function this choose one two is going to show you you know this hundred comma in progress then semicolon 300 comma completed semicolon 500 and then comma completed and so on so what would be the column number obviously the column is going to be 2 and the range is going to be 0 and I just go and press enter there is no need to press the control shift enter okay in this when you're going to combine it with the VLOOKUP and look at this you are getting your values now when I press F4 here let me just press F4 here let me freeze all the table and there we go I just go and you know I just drag this down and there we go we got the values guys fabulous we look up is working in the reverse direction now if you still need to understand what is happening here let me go here and press F9 uh, just a second let me just go and copy this table and when I'm going to copy this table let me Put the table here control V and control shift enter now if you look at this F9 let me remove the equals to sign now this is guys basically your you know the formula look at this now look at in the formula bar my friends you have hundred and then you have the in progress so this is your table number one the row number one in that table and then the semicolon and then semicolon is basically you know acting as a separator this is going to be the you know the second row and this is going to be the third row so eventually what is happening this lookup which you are using here this lookup i4 you know what it is doing this is going in this table and this is going in this table and this is finding where is 100 and it finds the 100 and then because you said that you got to go in the second column and once it finds the 100 you know this is the second column and that's why you're getting the value here now let me do one thing let me further go and play around with this because I want to really make sure that you should understand this you know you should not remember this as in like you know that uh, you know the kind of the steps you have to follow no I really don't want you to learn that way you should understand the logic now see what if I just write here 2 and 1 and let me ask you if I press enter do you think the value would come you pause the video you think on it right and then you resume the video and see if you are actually able to hit the bullseye or not right now when I press enter when I press enter I'm not going to get the value let me press enter guys look at this why are we getting the NA the reason is very simple because when you write here 2 1 and if I just go and do the postmortem of this function let me just copy this function and this time let me paste the function here so I just go here and I say equals to press and I press control shift enter now look at this this is basically your formula now in your formula actually the lookup value which you are trying to look up which is 100 
it is on the second column and you know that the lookup has to be in the first column right that's the rule right when you use the lookup you always make sure that the lookup should come first in your table selection right so this rule will follow even in the choose function right now let me again ask you one more thing if you think that by now you got it then let me have one more question if i just go and write here in progress pause the video and tell me if i press enter what will you get in the status will you get the error will you get the or what you know what are you gonna get well when i press enter you know what will happen because your in progress is now look up and in this table the choose table which you have used this in progress is coming in the first column of that row that means that basically the lookup is coming in the first column as a rule and automatically as you said that the VLOOKUP you have to go to the second column so it's going to match this in progress and it's going to return the 100 for you so if I just press enter look at this guys you got here 100 right so that is how the choose function actually works so let me just undo it and this is basically your original formula right this is your formula basically okay or maybe I can do one thing just for your understanding let me just go and change this let's this so we have the answer here right now let's say if you want the name well if you want the name the first thing which you need to do here is you have to add one more you know the number and then here after the comma in after the value 2 you have to include that column as well so I'm just going to select that table I press F4 and the table is freezed I press enter now you see that I press enter but why you're not getting the you know the name because in this table if I just go and show you this table if I just copy this and I let's say the you know I'm, I'm going to paste it here control shift enter now when you press F9 what you see is 100 in progress Raj and after the Raj there is a semicolon and there is a next racket right so you see that automatically your names are coming but the name is coming you know in every row the name is coming on the third actually column but you have written here that it has to be second column so my friends you have to change this to three and this is how you can make the VLOOKUP work in all the directions right so I hope that you you got this point you understood this and this is unbelievable you know it's actually remarkable knowledge for me also and i think for you also it is going to be a fantastic thing because i never thought that we look up could work in this reverse direction so excel is a kind of a you know it, it it's a big c every time you dive into it you're gonna <laughs> get something you know precious right so it's never ending process excel is so vast guys right so that's it for now guys as usual we will be talking about something else in the next video and do subscribe to the channel and one very important there is an important update which i just you know uh, came to know from the youtube uh, if you're not receiving any notifications well whether you're a part of my channel or any other channel then what you need to do is uh, as per the now the latest you know the changes done by the YouTube or you know uh, on the front page where you have this option uh, you know to subscribe uh, to to whosoever I mean you are subscribing there there's a bell over here you need to click on that bell and if you don't click on that bell though you will be subscribed to the channel but you will not receive any notifications you will not be able to you know uh, uh, come to know that your the youtuber has downloaded a video on some you know abc xy whatever it is a subject right so if you don't click here whenever i upload any video you won't be able to come to know so please make sure if you are a part of my channel then you today right after watching this video you go to my that you know ajay kumar the link and just right below my video this is the bell just click on that bell and be a part of that subscription notification notification alerts actually right so this is the only information i wanted to give you so thank you so much guys for for your support and do subscribe to the channel i'll see you soon thank you so much for watching